So when we think of the bone marrow, we think of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Multiple myeloma is a disease of the white blood cells. And white blood cells are infection-fighting cells. They're good cells, we need them. One of those cells is called plasma cells, and they secrete antibodies to help fight infection. In multiple myeloma, those cells go rogue and they start building up in the bone marrow and crowding out the good cells that you need. In addition, they start secreting bad proteins or bad antibodies, and those antibodies can build up in places that they don't belong, like your kidneys, your heart, um, and do damage. Some of the signs and symptoms of having myeloma might be fatigue and bone pain. Multiple myeloma is not that common, but it does affect about 35,000 patients or people every year in the United States. Multiple myeloma is often diagnosed when someone goes to their primary care physician and they're just not feeling themselves. They're tired, they're run down, maybe they have bone pain. Your primary care provider will often do a set of labs and see that you have anemia or maybe kidney function problems, or um, an extra protein in your blood that doesn't belong there. They'll often send you to a hematologist and oncologist to do further blood work, urine studies, even a bone marrow biopsy, which isn't that bad, and bone imaging to determine whether or not you have multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is treated in a variety of different ways. We usually first start with chemotherapy to hopefully get the abnormal counts within normal range. If you're a candidate for a bone marrow transplant, that's optimally what we wanna do because that's gonna give us as much time without the disease as possible. Um, we also now are using immunotherapy. And what that does is that actually helps rev up your own immune system so that the, your own immune system will attack the cancer itself. There's also some very exciting new treatments. We also have what's called CAR T cell therapy. Um, what CAR T stands for is chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy. And that's when we actually can take the patient's own T cells out of their body, re-engineer them, grow them, and put them back into the body. And that is where the T cells can actually, again, your own T cells fight against the cancer you have.